this is part one of making a magic mirror. So let's define what a magic mirror is real quick. So a magic mirror is pretty much a TV behind a two-way mirror and it is ran by a Raspberry Pi and it will use voice recognition, voice detection to serve almost as an Echo, an Amazon Echo or as a Google Home Plus. Why do I want to make this project? Well, first of all, I love electronics. I've made multiple different Arduino based, Raspberry Pi based, based projects on this channel. You can go look at them right now if you want, or you can stay and watch. And then second of all, I have a engineering expo for my university in six weeks from now. And I got partnered up with two other engineers in order to create any project that we, that we want that solves a problem. So our problem is that the Amazon Echo isn't that smart and we're about to make a much more smarter uh, home assistant hub. So this is the basic schematic of the project right here. Everything is to scale and pretty accurate. Everything is six and two thirds times smaller than what it would be in real life. Um, magic mirror. So let's start with the front. So the front's gonna have this two-way mirror, which is going to be 13.2 inches by 23.5, or in other words, a 27-inch monitor. That's what I wrote right here to begin with, but I think we're gonna try to upgrade to a 43-inch TV instead, which would look more aesthetic. But as of right now, we're running with this. We have a camera module in the front, so the camera module will be used for face detection. So when a user steps in front of the mirror, it's going to automatically go to his account, his calendars, his reminders, whatever news stories he wants to hear. And then we're gonna have this little PIR sensor right here, which is also going to detect when a user walks in front of it. So it's not constantly running at full percent juice and wasting energy. And then PIR sensors are like a passive infrared sensor. So it pretty much detects if there's human body heat in the room. And then that allows it to send an electrical signal signifying that there's a human in the room. Oh. Also, we have a two inch wood frame, which will be custom or it's just gonna be store bought. We don't really know yet. We'll get the side view. I have three speakers right here because I don't want this the side view to be too thick. So if we have three two inch speakers, that should be enough volume but that's just what i have right now um do you want speakers so we can get some audio input and i want it to be better speakers and what the tv provides but if the tv so happens to have good speakers we can just roll with that too now looking over at the back of it this is where it gets a little more interesting right here so we have the camera module and that is with a ripping cable to the pi so they need to be very close to each other just like this um, and the Pi is going to obviously connect to the TV with an HDMI cable. Pi is also going to need a microphone so we can detect voice recognition, voice detection, so you can talk to the mirror just like an Echo. We have a light strip around it, so whenever you start talking to it, it glows. Or if you need a little lamp, it's going to glow too. This will be an LED strip. So you can set it to any color you want, uh, set different designs. That's the plan so far. Of course, we need a little amplifier if we want to run external speakers so here's the amp the signal is going to come from the pi too right here is a little power distribution board so we need to power three things on here which is the tv which will take up most of the wattage then we have the pi which will take up the second most and then we have that little amplifier so we need some type of circuit right here that can take in 120 volts from ac and then distribute the power evenly over the sources that we need that's probably gonna be the hardest design that we have so far because um, we'll have to look into it and we have yeah just a normal connection to the PRR sensor just stretching across it from the back and basically how is how I want it we can add other sensors too, like a little temperature humidity sensor so it tells you the temperature and humidity in the room um, maybe a carbon monoxide detector so it can detect if there's carbon monoxide levels too dangerously high for humans in here too thinking about adding maybe like a scale to it too so it can track your weight daily there's there's this is so customizable that 
I don't really know what other sensors I want on it yet. I just know I want at least these things on it because this is going to be the base model right here. So this is the prices for it. So a monitor, 27 inch, we're going to try to get it used. So it's going to either range from zero to a hundred dollars and try to get it used. A 43 inch TV used is also probably about a hundred bucks. If it's new, it's probably about 200. So we're going to check on Facebook marketplace to see if we can get a cheap one. I already have a Raspberry Pi 5. I already have an amplifier. I already have a two-way mirror. We already have the wires. The speakers, I have some very cheap speakers that I might use. So that's why I put zero. But if I want to get some like bougier type of speaker, probably around 30 bucks. Um, The power distribution board, we'll probably have to buy something external for that. But I might be able to do it with some, some of the stuff I have laying around. So that's why I put a question mark right by it. Sensors, I have all the sensors that we need, for, at least for the base model. Um, pine, so we're going to make a custom frame around it too. So if we need four 2x4s of pine wood, it's about 20 bucks, and then we can cut it to length. Um, keyboard and mouse so we can run the Pi. That's also, that's also um, available to us because I have it. LED strip, also have it. And the microphone, so we can either buy a basic USB microphone, and it can work, or we could buy a four-way microphone voice recognition system which is about 80 bucks and that's gonna work just like how the echo does and be able to sense where the voice is coming from and more accurately light up when it hears the the keyword that we want to use which is mirror mirror so this is gonna range anywhere from 35 to 230 dollars um also if we want to make it touchscreen which I did not add on here we can use a little infrared touchscreen bevel and I don't know how hard that is to make no it's about 200 bucks online to buy it so but that's just like extra in the extra money area right here so extra money we would get a tempered glass two-way mirror instead I'm an acrylic one right now um we're working up a deal right now to get this so this is very possible that we do and that would be a hundred bucks so Adding up all of this and not the little extra money stuff, it's about $500 this mirror. If it's all brand new at market value. So, pretty pretty interesting project. I'm still gonna work on Bench Buddy, but since my group wants to do this mirror, this is kind of the priority now, but Bench Buddy still will be working. Um, I still will continue to do a summary of that book I just need to find time to write the other parts of the summary, but I did read the book, so. And yeah, and then after this is done, I'll have a full video documentation of how I made it step by step along the process. And and I'll give it to y'all guys if y'all want it. So please stay tuned, subscribe if you like this, and thank you for watching this.